Well, hello. Welcome back. Hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make an angel. Now I've made these every year for quite some time now and I absolutely love doing them. But my last one or last couple of ones that I made looked like they just stepped out of the 80s and I really didn't like them. And albeit everyone was really polite about them and said they look good, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to do something that I was really liking this time. So, I'm going to make something that looks like this. Now this one I did a fair few years ago, but it is really popular on my channel still. And I'm so happy about that because it is a really simple angel to do. However, this time I'm going to make it 3D. So without further ado, here we go.
Thanks for watching the tutorial. So this is the show and tell part where I talk about what I've made, what I did like, what I didn't like, and some hints and tips of what I did that you could do better. Quite frankly, that's the way I do this. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what this looks like now. Now, firstly, I'd like to just say that it's stuck on this. Now that wasn't the complete intention. What I wanted to do was stick it to this so that the dress came down a little bit more and didn't stick up. And um, by accident, she's stuck. So I'm going to have to cover this in gold polymer clay or something like that to actually make it part of it now because uh, I'm not gonna get it off. There's just no way. It's got so much glue underneath it, it's ridiculous. But anyway, the angel. Let's talk about the angel. So I'm going to pop her across the screen um, so you can get a good look of what she looks like because this is one of the things that I'm actually really quite proud of. It's been a real a tricky thing to do and I'm going to show you the back as well because I just I just think it's, you know, it, I put a lot of effort into this one. Um, so yeah, here you go. That's all the way around. Now, um, you would have seen from all of the shots I tried to do as much as I could filming downwards, but then I suddenly realised the more detail that went on, you're not going to be able to see it, so I had to change my filming angle. And with that came a lot of technical issues, because then it was background problems, then you saw my lights and wires and it just looked horrific. But anyway, if you'll excuse that for the second, you'll be able to see, obviously in the tutorial, I did as much as I could on camera. Um, and this is how it turned out. So as you'll notice, you start with almost like a triangular shape that's circular and then a little ball on the top. Now this reminds me of the board game Cluedo. So you have like a little triangular thing with a, yeah, that's kind of what I was going with. Now that gives you a general shape for a body. You don't need to worry about waist and, and the top half and shoulders and all that sort of stuff. It just doesn't, it doesn't work out, you don't need it. But what you do need is that angle from the top to the bottom. So it has a neck and then the shoulders are naturally created by the arms. So it all sort of come together all of a sudden. And I was really happy about that because when I was halfway through it, I thought, oh, is this going to look right? I'm not really sure. And then there will be a part where you'll see it. It's kind of like the neck was too long and then the body didn't look quite right. And I did fuss around with this quite a lot. But you know, I wanted to get it right. I wanted it to be something that I looked back on and thought, yeah, I made that in 2023. It looks so cool. And I think because it is on this great big glass thing, um, I think it's going to be fairly sturdy. So that's pretty good. Um, does mean you can pick it up from this as well. So you don't actually have to touch the design itself. You'd be no touching the dress, that sort of thing. So let's sort of go top to bottom like I normally do. So the head uh, sort of goes on quite quickly. And now the reason why I do it that way is so that you've got proportions. Um, and obviously when I realised the neck part was a little too thick I thought no that needs to come down a little bit try the head again make sure that you get the neck that looks right and then it just flows it does look really cool now as you know I did the dress and then the top part separately and you have to do that to get the kind of design right um, and then it also flows a bit better now I did try different ways so I put a circle in the middle of a round piece of clay first and I weren't sure if that was going to work, but it kind of did. Um, but I had to get it the right size so that it didn't slip all the way down and pretty much all the way off the whole thing. Um, but what you need to do is make it really big so you've got all this extra clay that you can put all the pleats in. Otherwise, you won't get enough of those pleats. Um, and yes, they do take a little bit of time to do. Now, polymer clay won't necessarily form the shape. You have to do that for it. Um, but you will get a rough idea. And then the more pleats you want in, you have to kind of encourage it. So you'll notice this time she's actually got a smile. And the reason for that is because I had a fair few comments saying, where's her smile? She hasn't got any smile. She's missing a smile so she's got one I I did it the most simplest way I could I just used a fingernail and I because I don't actually have a tool that does it particularly well so I thought well I'll use a, a fingernail just to see you know whether it did it and it worked out great so she's got a smile now you'll notice also I did cake her in real makeup now this is just real blush um, normal like cheap makeup um, because it's just the easiest thing to do. Now I put it on quite thick because you'll be surprised how quickly it goes pale once it's been in the oven. Now you'll notice from here, let me just go in a bit, little bit. So you'll notice it is 
quite pale and the reason for that is because once it's baked for some reason polymer clay and normal makeup goes really really light so i did cake it on to start off with so people have thought oh god that's a bit heavy but as you can see it's not too dark at all she's just got a light sort of dusting um, of blush and it works out just fine and it also works out better than using mica powder because obviously mica powder can be all shiny and it just doesn't look as good so get yourself some cheap makeup if you're making little angels so the heart as you well know um, I popped it um, I made it and then popped it in glitter I literally just put it in the pot so when polymer clay's got glitter on it's a little bit harder to change the shape so I did it like that so it stayed put basically and it worked out great now I baked the heart first and I also baked the first wings first um, because it's really important to get the shape so I wanted the um, angel arms I, I did position them so it, it, they stuck out a little bit so that I knew the heart would be there and then the first wings they went on um, after they were baked and then the back part I had to do that separately and rebake it so these were put on as um, soft clay and I put them on hard clay and then rebaked it so this is a make bake um, and I call it that because you have to make a bit then bake a bit then make a bit then bake a bit it's a bit of a nightmare um but it's so worth it in the end when you get something like this at the end and on the back there there is the bow um now if you want a separate tutorial on how to do bows i'm happy to do that there are going to be a few fridge magnets that come out soon um with a christmas theme so i'm going to do some bows with that as well because that is what you do for christmas so moving on to the skirt i don't know if you can see that very well but let me come out of shot um these tiny little flowers are made with five or six tiny tiny little balls and then all squished together in a flower shape they are actually really really simple to do um, and they are so effective and i'm just going to show you the front again because they are all over the front of the skirt as well and they don't need to be dotted everywhere it's just something that catches the light it's got a little bit of mica powder on it and it just looks really really sweet um, and then again the bow there as well it's done exactly the same as the one on the hair now i also done the little tiny uh, flowers where the neckline is and the front part of the dress i thought that was quite cute now with the glitter yes it is great to douse fairies in glitter but i like to highlight now the idea with highlighting is it catches the light but it doesn't take away from the actual design so around the bottom here i use the type of glitter um offhand i can't remember what it is called but i will link it in the description and i literally just tapped it all the way around the outside so it gave a shimmer as you can probably see um but it doesn't overtake from the initial design. So here I use mica powders. So this is like um, a white with sort of a, a shimmer to it. And then round the outside, there's like a goldy sort of effect as well, which ties in the design. Now, all of the things that I have used today, uh, they're pretty standard things, tissue blades, um, I use dotting tools, uh, toothpicks, all that, all the stuff I normally use, which is all linked in the description anyway. But you don't need anything particularly fantastic to make this. You just need some patience. Now, if you have got some patience, I would recommend you give this a go. So this is how you create angels with Ponham Clay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. an angel now I've made these in different different deaf death blah, blah, blah. so I'm going to compare it to one that I've made before and I do still have it here oh my god <laughs> start again Jones start again hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel so today oh my god let's just today I'm just gonna kick a stool not gonna do anything else but kick stools as a side note no uh, I'm going to completely start again because that was totally rubbish. Hi and welcome back to the Pond McClay channel. Hi and welcome back to the Pond McClay channel. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I should it to it. Oh.
Oh my god, squeaky bobby. I've actually glued it to it, so it's staying on there. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if anyone can hear that, but she's yip yapping in the background. Oh, shall I wait for the yip yapper to stop? She's dreaming. Just, just, you know. Thanks for watching the tutorial. So let me know in the comments what if you. Blah, 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 blah.